Becky and I have been on some great adventures over the years, but now it's time for our biggest challenge. It is the world's biggest beer festival. It's Robbie and Becky do Oktoberfest. You know, Becky, when you go to a place you've never been to before, but you just feel like you've always belonged. <laughs> I was conceived here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is like long lost families. Ah, oh, it's so good, isn't it? Oktoberfest takes place in Munich every year from mid September till the first Sunday in October and has a massive six million visitors every year. Becky, I think we need to have our first drink here. It's a lovely sunny day. So before we tackle the tent, let's try one of the beer gardens. <laughs> Twist my arm. Okay. Twist my arm. I'm overwhelmed. So There's <laughs> one. <laughs> Hey, Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Um, ein, ein zwei, zwei Bier. Bier. Ja, danke schön. Bitte schön. Was mit German? Ein zwei Bier. Ich habe alle hatte gerne ein zwei drei. He said it before you did. He went two beers. Yeah. Bloody tourists. Yeah. Oh God, help! Yeah. Um, I've got a question for yeah. the camera for the people back home. It's um, it's September. Why is it called Oktoberfest? I can answer that for you, Becky. The original Oktoberfest took place in October in 1810 and remained there until 1871. Then they shifted it to September because the weather's generally better then. Dankeschön. Better <laughs> Look at the size of them, Becky. Like, I have a massive head. And look at that. Frost. Frost. <laughs> I don't know. It's mad to think that these structures are not here all year round. They're built for Oktoberfest because they look like permanent buildings, but they're not. They're not Becky. They're not. Also, it looks real. It looks like they built them like years and years ago. But it's probably just fiberglass. It's one of the quieter days at the, at the festival today, during the day. But there's a really good thing on the website, which is one of the most informative websites I've ever been on for Oktoberfest that tells you how busy it's going to be at certain times because certainly in the tents people will make reservations a year in advance basically and, and drop a lot of money to get like a big table for 10 people but they keep a quarter of the, of the tables free for people to just rock up and also there's times like today during the day we should be able to just go into whatever tent we want and enjoy it I wander around and then it'll be a little bit busier but some days I can be rammed constantly so you can look at the website decide how busy it's going to be and when you want to go down I love this place full chicken <laughs> chicken Becky yeah. everyone's just eating chicken with no, no size no condiments just pure chicken this is a vegan's nightmare this whole thing is a vegan's nightmare how do you feel Prost. about this? they didn't cheers um, I mean, I'm not a fan of things off the bone, but today I am. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like it's a huge chicken. How many chickens died for Oktoberfest? Comment down below. <laughs> Comment below and I'll give you the answer at the end of the video. Oliver, he's got the world record in carrying stings. You're the world record holder? <laughs> yeah, I'm the world record holder. That's amazing. Again, How many found it on 29 stands. 29? I can't carry one. Oh my god! That's incredible! You can watch it on YouTube or... Really? Yeah. Right, insert clip. This is the name. You okay, we'll put one of those... Oh we'll put a link name. to it, we'll put a link to it. Yeah. That is so Show me that Becky. Oh my god, amazing! There he is, look. And there he is! We've come into the first beer garden and a random man out of five waiters who served us is the world record holder of Stein drinking, Stein carrying. That's strong, isn't it? Now you might not be in Munich, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy Oktoberfest, thanks to our video sponsor, Beer 52. To celebrate the world's biggest beer festival, the heroes of Beer 52 are gonna give you a free case of eight delicious and exclusive beers if you just pay the meager postage cost of £5.95. Just go to www.beer52, that's beer52.com forward slash Knox. 
Beer 52 create the ultimate immersive drinking experience and they've teamed up with eight different breweries, independent breweries from Germany and beyond to create these eight exclusive beers. This is Rheingeist Brewery's Oktoberfest beer, Franz. It uses German malts and noble hops to deliver a soft, malty backbone, balanced bitterness and low sweetness, making it a super drinkable Oktoberfest beer. I've particularly been enjoying this one, Brillo's Neon Black Dunkel Beer with biscuity, caramelly flavours. Ooh. If you don't like dark beers, don't fret because you can just choose to get a light only case. And whatever case you choose, you're going to get a couple of snacks free too. You can learn all about the breweries in question in this excellent Ferment magazine. If at any point you want to stop or pause or cancel your subscription, you can do so whenever you like. So head over to www.beer52.com forward slash Knox to claim your free case. That's beer52.com forward slash Knox. Let's get back to Munich. <laughs> Becky, what are, your, what are your thoughts on animals? Because look ahead. <laughs> Let's Do you know what him. this is, Robbie? Oh, it's a, it's a horse! Sorry, I didn't see that! I thought you were just being weird! <laughs> There's more horses. I don't know why there's so many horses. <laughs> Nay, as a horse would say. <laughs> Isn't it? Clip clop. No, do you know what? They look smart, but... Don't know, I, I hope they're being treated nicely. Hope they're having a few pints behind the scenes. Because we are. <laughs> Becky, we've done a beer garden. I think it's time to try a tent. And the Hofbrau tent is supposed to be quite an international yeah. appealing tent. Not necessarily a place where the Germans would go, but I imagine we're going to encounter quite a lot of Australians. Top of the morning. That's not. That's, that's not them. embarrassing. What's also, the can I just say, I love Australians. Ah, uh, yeah, we do, don't we? We like drunk Australians more. Which is all Australians. So if you're Australian, grab a drink, grab a snack. Checking in on you. Hope you're well. Now we're Becky, I cannot get over how big these places are. What's filming? <laughs> There are 17 large and 21 small tents at Oktoberfest, all with their own personalities. And the Hofbrau tent is the second biggest at the festival, holding up to 10,000 drinkers at any one time. I've seen videos of Oktoberfest and I've seen what these places look like, but you cannot get over the size of these things. I've never been in a bar anywhere close to the size of this. It's like being in an aircraft hangar full of tables. It's like the size of Alexandra Palace in London, or maybe bigger. Huge. You'd have to choose what beer you're having at Oktoberfest. Each tent sells its own brewery's beer, although most have a non-alcoholic beer option. It's served by the litre and generally costs around 13 to 15 euros. The Hofbrau tent has the strongest beer at 6.3%, but the weakest is still 5.8%, so they're all pretty similar. It doesn't take long to get what is politely termed merry, as you'll see in this video.
up on your bench and down your pipe. But people do it and then they get kicked out and they get a big cheer for doing it and then they come back in and they get a bigger cheer for returning to their seat. So it's, it's performative, but it's brilliant. The atmosphere in the tents is really friendly. The benches make it really easy to make friends with your neighbours, like we did with some lovely Australian boys. So this is the problem we've got. We wanted to see as many different tents as we are. We met some great Australian guys, and I love Australians. A lovely man called Mitch. He's going to have another stein. We have one more here, and then we're going to move on. I'm going to break that news to Becky, which is back from the toilet. How good is Oktoberfest? It's very, very mild. It's it, mildly it's good. good. It's mildly good. It's all right. Uh, Tell me something about yourself, Mitch. I'm Mitch, I'm 28, I'm fit, I'm flirty, and I've got double Fs. Australians are brilliant. Oh. Yeah, we're bastard, so they say. Try to go to heaven, buddy, went the other way. Down, 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 down. 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 You go take too long? You go soup, soup, soup. And you go, what are we waiting for? And then, and then I do the easy one. <laughs> It's Mitch, how do you feel? Dreadful Mitch. <laughs> you look very handsome though. You look great. You look great doing it. If shit is great, you look great. I'm gonna throw up blood. How much? I'll buy it. I'm not even in it. I'm not even in it. <laughs> if Rob has one Stein, I'll go on one roller coaster. If Rob is doing shit. My name's Becky. I've had one beer and I'm from fucking Wales. Wherever the fuck that is. Oh no, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm from Wales. Where? No one fucking cares, Becky. Oh, I'm from Australia. No one fucking cares. It kind of feels like it's 9 p.m., but it's actually. Oh my god. It's 2 p.m. With our new Australian friends, we're going to try and find some amusement park rides or something, or just something different. Food, drink, whatever. So Oktoberfest has a big sort of amusement park section. There's so many rides, there's like up and down, Joel's roller coasters, big wheels, twister type things. I'm gonna try to see if I can make Becky go or something. I know, right? Yeah. I reckon, I reckon we go that. That's so Oh, yes. We go right now, let's do it. On to the horse, there's the end again. And into the middle, I will take you to the top, let's do it. So this is one of the rides at the amusement park end of Oktoberfest. And we're getting so high. 
me. I'm literally, I'm so scared right now. Some point it's going to drop and we don't know when. This is so terrifying because you know at some point this whole ride is just going to collapse. Oh my god. Mitch, we don't know when it's going to drop. No, I don't know. I'm terrified. I am alive. I I'm not happy. I ain't roll, but I hate myself. That was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, Tim Fisher Fest. I hated that. I felt like, I, I feel like childbirth would be easier. He loved it though. He loved it. 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 No, right. <laughs> After going on the ride, we left our Australian chums and went to another beer garden, the Paulengarten, for another drink before indulging in some much needed bratwurst and, in Becky's case, popcorn. We then went for another beer, had a walk around, then hit up some more amusement rides. Becky, how are you feeling? Woo! I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm excited. Everything you should feel when you're having a good time. Do you know what I mean? We're enjoying the amusement rides. Get a lovely view up here. But this is a strange water-based rapid. Let's see how this plays out. Whoa! 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 Alright, we've got to drink that. No! Oh, God! Oh, my God, my, my phone! My phone's right now. Oh, it's alright, oh, we're, we're oh, fine here. Oh, oh, my God, I'm so wet! My lady host is Anyone? soaking. Spillage in the village. Watch me, watch me, hang on. I'm going to do a German dance. Traditional. <laughs> Cheers! So we drink a fair bit, but we are looking at this roller coaster here. And that is our target. I'm trying to make Becky go on it with me. There she is. I feel we can do this. Here we go, Becky! I that love was that. Horrendous. I love that. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you. What's your t-shirt? No, 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 no. You have to put this on. Put it on. What's your YouTube? Okay, no, damn. Like this. I'm ready to. Wait, Instagram, Instagram. Can I frame you? Yes. Woo! Yes. Awesome. Wait, you said that you want to go on this yeah, GoPro? These are the best people in the world. Where are you from? Where? Where, Where are you from? With the dragon. Woo! We thought you were German because you look oh, so good. Oh yeah, you we know, thought like, you were German. Actually, you, you know the tourists because they normally look awful and, and it's like really embarrassing. Out. But you look great. Thank you. Thank you. As day turned to night, the festival site got noticeably busier. So we decided to go back to the Hofbrau tent to get the full Oktoberfest experience, and we did not regret it. The band were playing German style covers of popular songs, and the atmosphere was amazing.
Oktoberfest is a brilliant place and I'd recommend it to everyone. As we ended the evening dancing with 10,000 new friends, I knew I would feel great forever. Oh my God. Oktoberfest, you're brilliant, but you're brutal. A train to Stuttgart now, then a flight home after that. It's not great. Don't forget to get the offer from Beer 52. It's a good offer. Uh, I, I, I can't be bothered. Just, 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 just get the offer. Today's not the time for discussion.